tool hut tool hut has all of your diagnostics and programming equipment needs covered uh, we've kind of specialized in the diagnostics drivability programming type equipment so today's project is a 2017 GMC Acadia it is at a body shop uh, it has been in a uh, front-end collision and there is a message on the dash that says service driver assist system so I'm going to go through the process uh, to my understanding that they have replaced the uh, long-range radar module so we are going to program it and we're going to calibrate it uh, so stick around The first thing I like to do is check it, the system for codes. So I am using the GM GDS2 software. I'm also using an MDI2 interface. So I don't know if there's other tools that'll do this project or not. It just happens to be that I have the old equipment, so that's what I use. So if your tool will do this, uh, it should be fairly similar in the process of doing it. So uh, it has done an auto scan of all of the modules here. And the only one we're really concerned with is the uh, long range radar system sensor module. And you see we have a calibration not programmed code so that's the first thing we're going to do is we're going to program that module. So there's a few reasons I like to do the uh, check for codes first. It, first of all, it tells me that I can communicate with the module so I know I can program it. And I have found that it saves me some grief later on knowing what codes are in the system before I program it. So may or may not be necessary for what you do. So I'm going to access my AC Delco Service Programming Systems subscription. And of course, we got to get our Java to load here. So anybody familiar with GM knows that sometimes this can be a challenge all by itself. Currently, I'm using Java 845, but you'll see in some later videos I go back to the traditional 767. So I had some problems with the 845, so never ending Java problems. So if I need the vehicle here, so that is the correct VIN number. And I'm going to go down to, I'm going to scroll down here, to the radar sensor module long range. This is the one in the front bumper. So we're going to hit next and ask if it's got automatic cruise control. Well, it wouldn't have a long range, long distance radar module if it didn't. So I don't know why they have to ask that, but okay. I'm going to hit next. It's going to show me the calibrations. I always like to just kind of scroll through the calibrations to see what I'm trying to fix here. You'll notice the asterisk in the current calibration. Uh, it's an indication that the module has been replaced. So with the newer reman module, some of the aftermarket remands, you don't see that. Uh, but this is an HDLCO, either newer reman. So. So we're going to hit next here. You get the message there that the radar may require calibration after programming. It's going to require calibration after this because it's a replacement module. I've never seen where it didn't require calibration. So 
It shouldn't take long to program it. It's not a real big module. It doesn't have a lot of data in it. So it's a pretty simple system, really. So it goes through the programming event sequence here. Pretty typical for a GM module. So once it's programmed here, it's going to tell us to turn the key off. Let the module power down. I'm not really worried about any warranty claim codes because this is a not a warranty situation here. So, okay, now that we've got it programmed, we have to go back and do the calibration. So we're going to open our GDST back up. Go to diagnostics here. Let it ID the vehicle again. We're going to go to module diagnostics this time. And we're going to go down to the scroll down here to the long range radar sensor module. And we're just going to go into the configuration reset functions and do the uh, long range sensor module learn. So it says there's some following conditions. The engine's got to be running. It's got to be going down the road 35 miles an hour. So uh, I don't know how you can do that without the engine running, but I guess, you know, is what it is. So I've had the best luck with these on driving them out on the expressway in traffic. Uh, this particular body shop is uh, kind of out in the country, so it's going to be an easy job on this one. Uh, it'll be just enough traffic to get this to do, to do it. Uh, it does, I've never had one do it in less than 10 minutes. Uh, this one takes just a few minutes longer than 10 minutes because I get stuck in a little bit of traffic. I'm not going to keep you on for the whole test drive. The whole goal is to get this message on the dash to turn off. So as soon as that message turns off, you're done. So after a few minutes of driving, this is what my dash looks like. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to hit the bell, be notified as I release new ones. I also try to reply to any comments or questions you may have. I'm not always capable of doing it, but I usually try to do it in a timely manner. So. Have a great day.